Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, James L, on dealing with laggy scene files. Okay, so I'm going to open up Maya, and this is the scene file from the final lesson, lesson 30, of the Introduction to Character Rigging in Maya course. Now, as you can see, I'm able to go ahead and navigate around the scene without any lagging issues. But if we were to have some lagging in our scene, there's a couple of different things we can do in order to try to um, eliminate that. Now, the graphics card in a computer is going to be the primary factor that determines how smoothly we can navigate around within the viewport of Maya. So if you're noticing some lagging while you orbit around the scene, you may want to look into some ways that you can reduce the workload that the graphics card has to calculate. So one of those ways, as you can see now, I have the textures turned on. And I do that by hitting 6 on the keyboard. So if I were to hit 5, I can turn the textures off. And so that way the graphics card doesn't have to uh, see those. It doesn't have to calculate that. Now, if you want to take this a step further, you can actually hit 4 to go into wireframe mode. And that way it doesn't have to even calculate the shaded geometry. And very often that can help to speed up your, uh, your view. Okay, but if we wanted to uh, continue this, I'm going to go back into shaded mode here just so we can see a little bit easier. What we can do is we can actually hide elements that we're not working on. So let's say I'm working on animating his eyes and I'm getting some lag. Well, I can select his body and I can hide that. And one way I can do that would be to come over into my display layers palette. Just go ahead and create a new layer with this selected. And this could be my uh, just a temp hide layer. Just something so we know that it's temporary. We can turn off the visibility on that. And that way our graphics card doesn't have to work on seeing that extra uh, information that we're not dealing with at the moment. I'm going to turn that back on. Actually, I'm just going to come in here and, and delete this layer. So we're going to take a look at another way that we can hide some objects. Now, once again, with my body selected, I can come up to Display, Hide, and I can hide my selection. Okay, so it's another way that we can hide some objects that we don't n currently need in our scene. Now, if we wanted to get that back, what we can do is come back up to Display, Show, and tell it to show the last hidden object. And that'll show the... Um, That'll show our body back. Now, as we can see, there's really not a lot of geometry in this particular scene. So if we've gone through some of those little tips and we still get a lot of lagging in our scene, even when we have all of the geometry that we don't need hidden, we may want to look into closing other applications or operating system effects. For example, like in Windows, there's the arrow effect. And that can really cause some strain on the graphics card so we may want to look into turning those things off while we're working within Maya. Now, let's also keep in mind that Maya is a very high-end 3D program that can do some very complex things. Now, in return, it has certain system requirements in order for it to be able to run as we might expect. So if we were to, say, hop over to Autodesk's website, you can see there's, they have an area for system requirements for Maya. And as we can see, for the 32-bit version of Maya 2011, these are the system requirements. And they also have them for the 64-bit system requirements. Now, if we were to look at this, we notice that it, all it says for graphics card is that it has to be a qualified hardware accelerated OpenGL graphics card. Well, what does that mean? It doesn't really give a whole lot of uh, specifics. So how are we supposed to know if the graphics card that we have is one that is supported? Well, if we scroll down, we can see under Certified Hardware, there's going to be a Certified Hardware Chart. So let's open that up, and we can choose whatever version of Maya we're using, as well as whatever operating system we're on. And we can actually open up a PDF that has a listing of all the graphics cards that have been tested with Maya. Now, this doesn't mean that if you've if you don't have a graphics card that's in this list, it doesn't mean that Maya won't run. Or if you don't meet any of the other system requirements, it, once again, it doesn't mean that Maya will not run. But it is possible that it may run into some issues, such as lagging viewports, if the computer that you're running Maya on doesn't meet these system requirements. 
So those are just some quick tips and workarounds for dealing with lagging in the viewport.